Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing a cigar that's provided to us by Cigar Collective Feeder. There we go. It's the Undercrown 10 Main. I was kind of excited about the cigar. And then once I look online and search for some information what they really meant, it kind of eh, a little bit. Because um I thought it has to do with it, you know, because it's released on one of their, their, their Chinese Dragon Extravaganza event that you actually had to pay to watch and all that stuff to buy a cigar. And it says Ming, you know? And I thought, you know, it's talking about Ming Dynasty. Ming Dynasty is the second to last dynasty of China, which is like, it's really full of like Han people, you know, um... Uh, characteristic like culture so i thought that was it but you know let's first look at the cigar really closely okay all right so this underground 10 is five and a quarter by 54 robusto extra that uses mexican san andreas wrapper over a connecticut broadleaf binder and filler from nicaraguan and pennsylvania all right so it's basically the same thing as a regular underground 10 and I actually like what on the crown 10. Now this cigar is 1320 MSRP each and there's only like 300 something available. And what I found out is that it's called Ming because it was the nickname of uh was it Abe Dabernet? Uh the founder was Smoke In. So it's actually for that and I was like, "Ah, uh, okay, so it has nothing to do with anything." Okay, all right. So yeah, that's that's where this is. The, the, the leaf is you know, very synergistic, very raw, very chocolatey, very, um, very underground tan. So, with that being said, it's time to cut in light, smoke it, and see if it's worth 13 bucks. We're about to smoke the cigar, but I find it funny that uh, I just look at the box, and the box says five by 54, but the listing is five and a quarter by 54. So yeah, who's wrong here? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Anyway, uh, also something to be considering is that this is a Robusto Extra and the regular version of Robusto is 5x50, is 1175, while the Toro version 6x52 is only 12. So this one band right here costs you $3 more. All right, so let's start smoking this thing. All right, first, that band that was misleading to me, but you know, they want to honor some people, they can honor some people. Nothing wrong with that. Ming, okay? Uh, it says the greatest smoke. The great smoke. The great smoke. The great smoke on the side. Okay. Sweet wood. A little mushroomy, but sweet wood. Okay. A nice cut. I'm going to expect this thing to spoon exactly the same, to be honest with you. Mushroom, very mushroomy. 
little bit of hint of pepper and woodsiness, but mushroom. Now, if you're watching this for the very first time, and you're like, Tony, you're like burning the shit out of this. But seriously, when you're reviewing, you don't have that much time. So you got to heat it out as fast as you can and then ignore the first like five, six pop. That first few pop is going to taste like horrible. Then I light it up again by blowing at it. Double draw. And start getting the taste of it. So, um, talking about Ming, right? Um, there's a famous story written by Jin Yong. It's called The Duke of the Deer Mountain. Go read that one. It's all about, uh, you know, a, a guy who is caught between the fight of rebellions of the Ming Dynasty versus the Qin Dynasty. That's a very famous story. And it just tells you people like somewhat ignorant about what their heritage is and they're fighting blindly over some, you know, the, whereas people just want peace. It's kind of one of those stories, but it's kind of nice. Definitely some fermentiness. Woodsy, no. There's like a dark. Should I say that sour note? A little bit of pepper, just a little bit of burn. It's kind of confusing. A little bit of maybe like a dough, fermented dough. And then obviously that characteristic sourness, woodsy notes um, of and that mushroominess of that San Andreas. Chocolate, definitely chocolate now. Very pronounced chocolate. Some baking spice too. So that's what I got right now. Um, a mixture of flavor that is not sitting together, but more like separately, kind of fighting each other right now. So I smoke one third and we'll see if this thing do as good as the regular ones. They do a lot of filler in there. So we'll see. Be right back. All right. So I think we're at the first third. Ash is pretty nice. It's like, uh, you know, I don't know, salt and pepper <laughs> uh, color look. Um, in comparison, this thing, after the first few, 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 first few puff, what I got was leathery, extreme earthiness, some spice. That initial few puff chocolateness kind of became more of like, um, mm, a little bit bitter espresso or coffee or something like that. But it's very close to the original on the Crown 10. It's just a lot earthier. A lot earthier than the regular on the Crown. I remember enjoying on the Crown 10 um, a lot because that was actually really good for, for, for Jewish Day. But this thing is so earthy. Um... It's not to a point where it's unacceptable uh, thanks to other notes that helps it. But the earthiness is almost close, close to a Gurkha level of earthiness. So, yeah. Um, I'll continue to, to smoke it down second, third, see if that earthiness died down a little bit. Uh, the rest of the flavor is relatively the same. Um, just it's, just it's pretty good. Without those notes, this thing will be as bad as a Gurkha. But right now... Not too bad. I can smoke this. So, second third. Be right back. So, second third. Whew, was bitter. Earthy. Bitter. 
earthy and bitter. It's got a little hint of like vanilla bean, but it's bitter and earthy. Now I'm just crossing into the last third. It's starting to get better. Like vanilla creaminess, a little bit of espresso. That earthiness died down. That bitterness died down. So I'm really looking forward to this last third. But like the first two third, eh. And I think that's really because there's more filler in here and, and, and whatever that they put in here that was creating that large amount of bitterness and earthiness. It's, some people might like it. If you love earthiness, I, I've, I've said this before. If you like certain notes, the opposite spectrum of things you're not going to like. And But then people, there are always people that like the opposite spectrum of things. So there are some people that love that earthiness, right? And, and maybe that's what Ming loves and, and suits him. That's how you dedicate a cigar, right? You dedicate to something that they love. All right, so it's this single double bend design. Standard on the crown 10 band with a 10 on it. And the background. I, I you know, I honest, honestly don't understand why they had to make it into two bands because they could have printed it as a one band, but they did. And I think it's because they want to print this in the back. And the back of that band has gracias. And that's pretty much it for that band. I mean, this is a three band design. It does look pretty cool. It does look slightly different. Again, it's got that festive red with the Ming kind of now sway you to think this is a special thing for the year thing, but it's not. It's really for Ming or Abe. <laughs> I got tricked. I got tricked. Um, but at this point, I can tell you for sure, 100%, that I personally think that the original Underground 10 is better. Original Underground 10 is better by a long shot. By a long shot. In fact, the original Underground 10 probably tastes like this last third right now. There's a little bit of a acidity, some sourness to it. Almost like a sharp vinegar kind of taste. But that wasn't the original. I don't know. They made it slightly different. It is different. So I'm going to finish this last third. And we'll get your price. Be right back. All right, so we are done. Oof. Aster is okay. It's still not that good. It's sharp. It's very sharp. It's sour. Um, I'm going to give this thing price of $9. $9. Because I think it's not as good as original, which is 11 ish and uh, this thing is probably worth nine dollars. But if you like earthiness, you like that vinegar sourness, that might worth you now ten, eleven, twelve dollars to you. But for me, nine dollars where it is. Okay, it doesn't taste nearly as refined as the original one. It's sharp. It's all over the place. It's earthy. It's bitter. Um, it might be whatever filler they put in here that kind of increase some notes and. Did not allow the sound of the notes to shine like the original. Okay? So, with that being said. Oof. $9 it is. That will be it for the review. Big thanks to Peter, the Cigar Collective, for sending me this cigar. So that I didn't have to buy. <laughs> okay? And if you like the review, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, we also have Patreon, we have subscription, we have all that stuff, you know. Say that a million times, don't like to say those a lot. So, I'll see you again next one. Bye, guys.